Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today, the Philippines celebrates Jose Rizal's martyrdom. As we have already made several videos about his family in previous episodes, seen below, today we will look at a few of his collateral descendants. Please finish watching the video and do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As discussed in previous videos, we know that the Rizal family started and grew in Binyan and Calamba, both in the province of Laguna. The family was big, common for its time. The children of Francisco and Teodora Alonso Rizal were Saturnina, Pasiano, Narcissa, Olympia, Lucia, Maria, Jose, Concepcion, Josefa, Trinidad, and Soledad. What was amazing was that all 11 children survived infancy, and only one child, Concepcion, died young. And other than Jose, who was executed by the Spaniards, all other members of the family lived up to their 70s, 80s, and 90s. Despite the size of the family, not all of the Rizal children have left descendants today. And while many erroneously refer to some Rizal descendants as Jose Rizal's progeny, our national hero left no descendants of his own. Although Jose Rizal and Josephine Bracken had a son, this child was born premature, and died right after it was born. All Rizal descendants today are from Pagano, Saturnina, Narcissa, Olympia, Lucia, Maria, and Soledad. while the family has grown through the years. Unlike many other prominent clans, the Rizals have been, for most of modern history, silent and contributing in the sidelines. However, there have been a few members who have made a name for themselves. And today, we will look into the genealogy of four of these, and see how they are related to our national hero. Crowned as international in 1964, Gemma Cruz Araneta became the first Filipino, and the first Asian, to win the Ms. International title. She was fearful of being ostracized for wearing a swimwear during the pageant. Despite this, she donated her $10,000 winning to charity in the Philippines, wanting to help the poor in her country. Gemma Guerrero Cruz is the great-granddaughter of Maria Rizal and Daniel Cruz. Her father, Captain Ishmael Cruz, was tortured and killed by the Japanese during World War II, and is considered a modern-day hero. She was the director of the Philippine National Museum during the term of President Ferdinand de Marcos. And she was appointed secretary of the Department of Tourism during President Joseph Estrada's term. Jeremiah Gabriel J. Villaroman is a great-great-grandson of Saturnina Rizal and Manuel Hidalgo. He is a prominent photographer, and has photographed high-profile celebrities such as beauty queens Katrina Gray and Pia Wurzbach, artist Janine Gutierrez, Heart Evangelista, Lovie Poe, and Jake Cuenca, and automotive journalist James Deacon. He has also always been a representative of his family and relatives during special activities concerning Jose Rizal, and is a vocal member of his generation. Another great-granddaughter of Maria Rizal is Patricia Magdalena Laurel. Like her great-granduncle, she too is a writer and uses her work for social conscience and consciousness. She also does not shy away from presenting a true picture of Philippine society. Our final featured personality is Therese Martin Malver. She has a unique pedigree, Aside from being a great-great-great-granddaughter of Soledad Rizal, she is also a great-great-great-granddaughter of General Miguel Malver. She is a multi-awarded actress, and has been awarded the Outstanding Artistic Achievement Golden Goblet Award at the 2016 Shanghai International Festival. Best Actress at Cinema One Originals in 2015. And Best Actress at the First Cine Filipino Film Festival in 2013.
Every year, the entire country celebrates the contributions and the martyrdom of Jose Rizal. And every year, members of the Rizal family flock to Lineta, or in any part of the Philippines and the world, where the Philippine government is paying tribute to their great ancestor. And while he has not left his own descendants, descendants of his own brother and sisters continue to keep his idealism and examples of bravery and love for country alive. So that's our short tribute to Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Stay tuned for more videos on Filipino genealogy, and please like share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and keep safe always.